Bill today, walking live with Belsif. Today on the Belsif show, I got my headlights in for the old 87 here. So these are the headlights I was talking about. And as you can see, they're a uh, reflector style headlight. So what they do is they reflect the light back to the housing and whatever and whatnot. They're not a projector, they're a reflector. They look pretty nice, they are made of glass and they are made of steel at the back or white metal or whatever it is. See, they're not like the full LED like I was talking about. So they're not too freaking bad, eh? I also got front marker light bulbs, 1157s, LED, Go Glass Accessories. I also got red LED brake light bulbs, Go Glass Accessories. And the bulbs they end up putting in these lights are the T2s. Friggin' right. So, it looks like we might have all the LEDs we need. Oh yeah, and I got these little bulbs kicking around for the reverse lights on the truck. So the whole truck will be LED when we're done here. So what I'm gonna start with maybe is by putting in the front marker light bulbs. So if you turn this way and you look down this way, you'll see here's the front of the truck right here. And if I go down here, as you know yesterday, I put bulb in here. I'll take that bulb out, which is the 1157 bulb. And I'll put in an LED 1157 bulb, which should be pretty nice. These bulbs are pretty cool looking. Check out them, eh? They got like a little ding dong on the front, and they got multiple LED. Oh, geez. Let's just stick it in and see what it looks like. Frank, can't wait any longer. You just gotta see. So there, let me make sure they're working. Oh my gosh, are they ever. They are very yellow. They are. You notice my side one's not working again. Oh man, what happened? Are they in wrong? Holy cow, are they bright. Something's wrong here, Jim. All right, so they're not gonna work actually. Because when I put them in, the marker lights don't work. So what it's telling me is these bulbs aren't error free. And they're way too freaking bright. Look how bright those are. It's a turn signal on a headlight. Holy cow, I can't see. Where are you? Great. So we gotta take them back to Google Glass Accessories because that's no good. Hey, we tried. Bring it right, we tried. So they can go back in the bag. What's really going on, Kurt? They didn't work. We'll try the brake lights later. But what I want to do is I want to get one headlight in so I can show you what they look like. So let's do that right now. Not later, right now. Hey Google, turn on bench. So I'm gonna grab myself a screwdriver here. You call that a star, Phillips, something like that. I gotta take the whole damn friggin' thing. Mom! What's happening for? I gotta take the whole friggin' bezel off just to get the headlight bulb out. So we'll whip this thing back off. Whip this one off. Whip this off. Now remember to be gentle with these if you haven't painted one like I do. And I should put some blue lights behind the grill, eh? What do you think of that? Maybe we'll have to do that down. So we'll get that out of the way, which like that, and then we'll pop the headlight out. We still gotta adjust these headlights too once they get her outside against the old door ruski here. So these headlights I got here, they're actually pretty inexpensive. They're 60 bucks for the pair, but they don't come with headlight bulbs. So you gotta put your own headlight bulbs in. And if you're Canadian like I am, they kind of cock you over the ship in the news. Because as you know, you'll have import taxes and import fees and should have just sent to America and picked them up over there, but I didn't. I just got them sent right to me. I didn't want the hassle of picking them up, to be honest with you. So that's why I did that. So we'll get the original headlight out of here. There it is. And we'll grab one of the new ones. Now, the new ones, let me tell you why. They've got wires on them and they got two. These are blue ones because my truck's blue, so I want it blue. But they got one on this side, one on this side. Now you can separate them and run one as a turn signal, one as a daytime runner, but I'm gonna run both as a daytime runner. So, I just wanna see how they fit. They fit just like a factory light, so that's nice. Oh yeah, they do. Cause this actually fits tight into the pod right here. Now a lot of these might wanna trim that out, but I'm not gonna, because it squeezes in there really nice actually, which holds it centered to everything. First one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Get some wire here so I can extend these babies. So how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. What do you think of that? We'll use green for ground, as you would in a house. And we'll use yellow for power, as you would in a car stereo for positive. There we go. Now we just need to solder them together with my trusty 
quick. Ooh. FX3. Friggin' right. We're looking at minutes to heat up here, not seconds, minutes. Look at that. We're looking at seconds here to heat up. Holy, are we ever. Look at it go. So now that's done. Oh yeah, I don't have any, do I? Oh, this blue one might work. Nope, too small. Yeah, I'm just like totally out of any kind of shrink wrap possible here right now. I feel a trip to Princess Auto coming here shortly. Slide that through there, onto there. We'll slide that through there, onto here. Like that, now we'll heat that. So there we go, it's soldered, heated, and doodadded. So now we can slide that into here, like so. And we can slide the headlight into here, like so. You got a nice tight fit in there. Wires are coming through and not pinched on anything. Huh, how are we gonna do that with pinched wires? All right, so what we're gonna have to do, unfortunately, with this, is we're gonna have to drill a hole in the back of this because I'm not gonna pinch the wires off in there because that won't work for me. I'm too, uh, too fussy for that kind of stuff. So let's get up the trusty drill bit here and we'll whack a hole through it. Last thing you wanna do is pinch your wire. Or first thing you might wanna do is pinch your wire. I don't know. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Some people might like a wire pinch. I'm not, me not so much. I moved the whole damn thing and did. There we go. Now that we got that through there, which makes me feel a lot better, the wire will go through there. Should put a little bit of paint on that maybe. Just a little bit. So it doesn't get all rusty. What do we got here for paint? Let's use some of this stuff. There we go. Let's give that a minute to dry. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully that doesn't stop me from doing the proper adjustments, but I think we'll be all right. Top. Okay. So we'll slide the wires through the hole I just uh, manufactured into her. You see? Probably not, because I can't. There we go. And now we'll squeeze that through the old hole. Cap. Where is it? Right there somewhere. No wire pinching going on? Good, perfect. I think we got her, Jim. Bring her right, I think we got her. Stay there, would you? I think need to put longer screws in here. I'll let you know in a second here. It's been a long time since I installed these ones in the truck. What the hell? I can't even see. You can't even see now because not my head's in the way. Come on. Why wouldn't I? Something's happening. Something's not happening. Oh God. Get off the stool, would you? Come on. Oh yeah, these screws are awesome. Am I close? I can't see. Am I there? Nope. Oh, something happened. I think I found one. Friggin' right, I found one. Thank F. Oh, wait. How are you doing? There's nothing worse than having screws that are totally wore out. And to find screws that fit this, I'll be searching all night long. So I'm better off just to sit here and swear at this thing for hours than it is to look for screws. I'll tell you right now, there's no point. Just swear at it and see what happens for an hour. That's what I say. Brought to you by Snap-on, wouldn't it? This might help, to be honest with you. If you can see, it might actually be a bonus feature. It sure is a bonus feature. Look at that. That made a big difference in the situation. Listen to that screw, though. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. Best screw I've ever used in my life right there. Do you believe me? I wouldn't. Where the hell is the other screw gone that I dropped? Did I throw it away because I got mad? It was right there. Did I take it out of there? Did I put it up there? Did I throw it on the floor? Did I, what the hell did I do with it? I have no idea. Guess we're looking for a screw anyway. Did you shove it up your bum? Okay. Hey, how about one of these? Let's try to slam myself tap her into her. Let's change this thing over to Robbie. This is my any theft screw. Always put one screw in different, that way nobody can steal your lights. Cause they'll come with the right screwdriver and they'll be like, well that don't freaking fit. And you'll be like, it all. Pretty good, eh? I like that idea, you know what? Oh dick. I broke her boys. I tried to crank her too much. Guess what? Now I need a new ring. Just leave her right there. Don't touch her for now. Wow, I can tell right now this headlight's already pointing down way too far, so it's gotta come up. So I might as well do that right now, and it's absolutely not moving. That's not bad, let's try right there. 
Let's plug it in and we'll see if the LED works. See if we can't get lucky on one thing today. Okay, you ready? I'm not. Oh, freaking right it does. Look at that, boys. Girls, people. LED, regular. Look at the front angle, the dangle. LED, regular. So it works, Jim. How about high beam? Do we get a high beam out of her? Sure do. Oh man, those are mint. Those are friggin' mint. Friggin' right there, mint. And they even look good. What's the chance of that happening? The only problem is now I gotta order new chrome rings. And yeah, great. Why wouldn't I have to? But now that we're done that, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the blue on. Because I got a wire right here. I'm not gonna cut this yet. And I got a wire there. So I'll show you what it's gonna look like with daytime runners on this bad boy. I'm gonna use these lights as daytime runners. Leave me a comment down below if you think that's a good idea. Please. You see me? Probably not. How you doing? Daytime runners, everybody. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Okay, ground. We just need a temporary ground for now, which is right here, to try it. Hopefully that's enough of a ground. I doubt it. I don't know if they're on or not. Are they on or off? They're off. Were they on? <gasps> oh, decent. Get a background here, boys. What was that, girls? People's. Just trying to show you. Come on, can't you just stand up for a minute so I can show them? God almighty, do you have to be perfect? There you go. Look at that. The blue glow is where it's at. Oh yeah, I did. Friggin' right. The only problem is I got her hooked up to the wrong input. Because when the key's off, it doesn't shut off. She's all on the manual switch. So I want to make it so I can turn it on or off, or it comes on with the key. But unfortunately, it comes on with both. But how does it look with that lights on? Can you still see the ring? Friggin' right, you can still see the ring. Man, that looks cool. She's gonna look mint. Change the positioning of the wiring so I can, goes off of the key. Or you can leave it on with the key, whatever. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think of these headlights. Because you know, inquiring minds wanna know. My camera's dirty or dick, so this whole video is probably cocked right over, but this is just a video showing you these LEDs. I'll get the other one put in. I'll get them all wired up. And then I'll come back and show you in the next video. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see that. Let me know in the comments below too if you wanna see some blue glow lights behind the grill. Because now that we got that mesh on there, I can definitely do something like that. So this is pretty neat. We're getting, we're getting somewhere we are. I'm glad you're all here. I'm glad you're watching the video. Thanks for watching. Let's see if we can get over 100 thumbs up again. I appreciate that. Don't forget to share the videos to your friends if you want them to see me. And if you don't, I understand. But love y'all. Until next time, you know what to do for now.